Well, guys, this is truly distressing stuff you're going to see here. Sam and Nigel destroying rice when I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. I mean, the, <laughs> the incompetence is quite amazing. But what's funny about this is how the rice destruction causes such a furore in camp. And the way Tony Bellew compares it to the way Nigel Farage acted during the whole Brexit stuff. Have a look. Ah, uh, fell I'm in a real problem right now. I burnt the rice. But I don't know if I've burnt the rice. I don't know who's burnt the rice. It's burnt. Oh, it's burnt. Oh, God. Oh, God. Sam, I did say to you it was reducing. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. He's ruined the rice. <laughs> Sleeping, you know, you're going to have to make priorities. The rice, we've got the rice on both. No, I didn't. I thought, I thought you had it. I thought you had it. No, I said to you, it's reducing. It's going to need some more water. I've never missed Fred more. So I wish he was here to see this. I oh, would... my God. What would Fred be saying right now? Who put the rice on? I put the rice on. Ah, oh, yeah. Sam and Nigel not doing so great in the kitchen. I'm not going to lie. They have both burnt that rice. Okay. So it's black bean rice. Black bean rice. It Samuel. Sam It'll do. It'll do. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think it tastes that bad. Tastes that Weirdly, bad. to me, it tastes, it tastes like bad popcorn. popcorn. Oh, my Lord. He's now busy convincing everyone that it tastes like bad popcorn. You had one job, son. You are head chef. You fell asleep on the job. I didn't fall asleep on the job. I was just lying down. I was resting my eyes. One, one thing led to another. another. <laughs> and I'm asleep. Wow. Sam, you fell asleep on the job. One job. One job. Just one job. Why does it look like tar? Because <laughs> it's banned, Sam. I think it's going to be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I still think it's Nigel's fault. Have a taste of this, mate. Tell me what you think. Now, there are a couple of little bad bits in there. Have a little, have a little mouthful of that. Oh. He burnt the rice. <laughs> a small amount of it is burnt. <laughs> and to part of that is Nigel's fault. No, it isn't. What happened? I put the rice on and um, he fooled us. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> One's blaming the other, Sam's blaming Nigel, Nigel's blaming Sam. So you put the rice on and then you fell asleep. Well, Nigel put the no, rice on. I put the rice on without me knowing. I was tending it. I said, would you in a couple of minutes lift the lid and add some water? Yeah. Look, can you take over? I said, I don't of... think those words came out of Nigel's mouth, can you take over? A bit of miscommunication between the two no. of you, do you think, in your, you know, communication was lacking. In your... <laughs> really? Communication was lacking. Really? It doesn't matter. It's a disaster. The rice is burnt. It's done. No, I just threw you right under the bus. So I thought, what do you mean, Nigel? Jumped ship as soon as you walk up. <laughs> I'm almost certain I didn't hear him be like, can you take, can you, can you, can you watch over it? This is just like Brexit, the shit hit the fan and Nigel got off. <laughs> this is the difference, yeah. what a real leader does. As head chef, I'm taking responsibility. Basically, the ship was well and truly sinking and Farage jumped right off that ship and was on the emergency boat and left the captain on board. Wow. Nigel has 100% been the rice, and rice. he's looked to blame someone. Politics all over, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, past the book. You <laughs> everything coming out past the book. Yeah, you've absolutely blitzed everyone's food, and now just past the book and get off that boat as soon as possible. The ship is well and truly sinking. <laughs> Have to say, I really like Marvin's face, though, where Sam tried to feed him the rice as if nothing had happened to it. It was absolutely fine. You could see Marvin's face just fall with disgust as he chewed on the rice, which did, I have to say, look really unappetizing. We predicted this would happen because Nick has gone. Fred has gone. You know, the cooks have left the jungle and now they're left with these guys cooking. And I dread to think how the evening meal's going to go. It's kind of amazing that Josie hasn't stepped in at all to help because Josie seems to be a relatively good cook, but she's just sitting back. And watching them fail, it's quite cruel. But that, that rice looked awful, guys. Absolutely awful. Ugh.